Guys, everyone on the interwebs is hating on Kenobi. <laughs> oh, wow! Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I don't even watch the TV show Kenobi. I just know it sucks at this point. I don't know if it sucks, but that's what the internet is telling me. And everyone is like, come on, Kathleen Kennedy, she's not an ass pimple on the butt of George Lucas. This girl doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't have a plan. Guys, I want to suggest something else. I think Kathleen Kennedy has a plan. She's been following this plan this whole time. When you have a long-running franchise like Looney Tunes, Mickey Mouse, Star Wars has been around since 1977, you kind of run out of directions to go. You can see what happens in the future, you can see what happens in the past, but it's just kind of a, you can't go in a certain direction after a while. Kathleen Kennedy acknowledges this, and she's doing what previous IPs have done before. There is this period in the 90s and the early 2000s where the trend was babies. You had the Muppets Babies cartoon, Baby Looney Tunes, a pup named Scooby-Doo. It was the trend. You take a character that everyone loves and you make them a baby. That's what Kathleen Kennedy is doing. Baby Yoda, highly successful. Billions of toys sold of Baby Yoda. The memes that were made about Baby Yoda. Now we got some Baby Leia and some Baby Luke action in Kenobi. I think Kathleen Kennedy is setting up Star Wars babies. We're gonna get a baby Chewbacca running around on all fours. Baby Han Solo is throwing a frisbee at baby Chewbacca. Maybe he's like a little troublemaker in the daycare, you know, always finds himself on timeout. Baby Jabba, we got baby Jabba <laughs> in the Clone Wars, the, the animated movie. Baby C-3PO and baby R2-D2, they just run on old operating systems, a fucking Windows 95 version of uh, C-3PO. Kathleen Kennedy is just... Thinking on a different level, playing 69D chess, y'all don't understand it.